Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the Wind Archer. So we can see over here that I am currently on the Wind spec. It's a little bit different, it looks blue instead of gold. So let's start with the movement abilities. Let's start with your Q and E first. So unlike the Holy Archer, you can Q or you can E twice. So you can see here that I can Q once and I can Q again. And same with my E, I can E once and I can E again. And it's two iframes. So the first Q is an iframe, the second Q is another iframe. Same with your E's. Uh, just keep in mind that you can't hold on to it too long. So you'll see here that I Q once, I can hold it for a couple seconds and I have to use Q again or else it'll expire and you're not able to use it. So you can hold it for three seconds. So you can Q, one, two, three, and you can cast it again. And same with the E, E, one, two, three, and you can cast it again. Um, you can instantly cast it if you need the double iframe. However, most archers are going to want to delay it so that you get the full duration out of the iframe because this is an iframe and then that is another iframe. And only the second cast of it will actually shoot an arrow. Unlike the previous spec where you can just keep pressing F to shoot an extra arrow, this one does not allow you to do that and only when you do the second dash do you auto attack. As for your LMB, this one's a little bit different. This allows you to dash forward two times. However, every time you dash forward, you can press F to auto attack. So you just press F and you can press F again. Keep in mind that those are skill shots. So if I dash forward like this, I will just be shooting the air. So you can definitely mess around with this ability by let's say dashing here, flipping over, press F, dash again, press F. So this LMB is pretty fun to play around with. The distances for the, your movement abilities are a little bit different as well. So your Q and E move you 6 meters side to side, your LMB is only going to move you 3 meters forward, and your SS moves you 15 meters backwards. So you've got your SS over there, you've got your Q, you can Q again, you can E, you can E again, you've got your LMB and LMB again. So these are your movement abilities and these are your main repositioning tools. So your RMB for the Wind Archer is very similar to the Light Archer. You're going to attack three times, rotate through three different attacks. And after going through three rotations of this attack, you'll unlock your F ability, which is your burst. So you'll see here now, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this ability comes up, press F, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. F comes back up again, boom. Basically, you're going to be cycling through your RMBs and pressing F whenever it comes up. Just remember, it comes up every three full rotations. This also reduces the cooldown of your Q and E and your LMB, just like the Light Archer. However, it doesn't reduce the cooldown that much. So you'll see that I Q and I E, and I'm shooting. You'll see that it reduces the cooldown a lot slower than the Light Archer. And the main reason is because it only reduces the cooldown by 0.6 seconds and 0.5 seconds instead of the Light Archer where it was 1 second to 3 seconds. So that explains your positioning abilities as well as, as RMB. So next up is your tab. Your tab is very interesting. It's very similar to like a tab freeze. It allows you to be invulnerable for 3 seconds. However, you're not able to move. So you'll see here and the moment you move, you'll cancel out your iframe. So what you want to do is you just press tab and you stay in this one, two, three, and voila. And now you're, you can move again. So this is a three second iframe. Next is your one, which is your block ability. Unlike the light archer, your block ability in here is more of a counter. You've only got a couple seconds. You go one and that's it. You see, it's, it's a lot shorter than the other one, not spammable because there is a six second cooldown. You just block and voila. So next up is your 2 ability. Your 2 ability is a stun. It's pretty fun. You can stun the enemy like that and then you can knock them up and then pew 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 pew. So I find that pretty cool and all you have to do is hold down your 2 since it is a stun and then you immediately go into an aerial. So you just look at this, you stun the enemy, you press 2 to knock them up and you hold down 2 and you juggle them in the air for 3 rotations. And while they're in the air like that, they can't defend themselves so pretty useful. Your three is detect weakness. You're gonna press three, you shoot the enemy once and you'll see there's a two circles around here. And when you're in here, there are certain skills that become instant cast. So we'll talk about that in a second. So next up is your four ability. Your four ability is your charge up arrow. You can charge it up up to three levels. It only says two levels here, but you can charge it up to three. So there's one, two, three, bam. And it's pretty good. 
It's a pretty interesting skill. However, what's more interesting is when you use your three ability, which is detect weakness, and if you stand in the circle, your four becomes instant cast and it deals the maximum. It's the same damage as a fully charged arrow, as a three charged arrow. So definitely something that you want to play around is with detect weakness and this. And keep in mind that they don't share the same cooldown. So let's say your four abilities on cooldown, and then you cast detect weakness, go into the circle, it's going to be off cooldown and instant cast. So I'm going to show you that now. So we're in here, I charge up my arrow to stage 3, boom, I use detect weakness, I go into my circle, and voila, my 4 is instant cast again, and boom, fully charged arrow. So definitely a really fun ability. Next up is your Zed, it's exactly the same as the other archer. You put the debuff on the enemy and then you've got 10 seconds to deal as much damage as you can onto him and then it'll deal 10% of that damage onto the target. Pretty cool. Your X ability here is kind of boring but it just basically you get 3 auto attacks and right after you finish this combination your F key will be available which is your bread and butter for your DPS. So 1, 2, 3 and your F is up. Bam. And that's it. Nothing special about this skill. Your C skill is a very simple skill, it shoots 5 waves of arrows at in an AoE or on the target. So basically you press C and boom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's it. Very simple. Next up is your V ability, which gives you 6 seconds of rapid fire. I really enjoy this skill. Just think of it like Ash in League of Legends whenever she has her Q available. So you press V and pew 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 and you get 6 seconds of this rapid fire mode. Keep in mind you can't move while in this mode and after you finish the rotation you'll have enough to use your F ability. So it's pretty cool. So I'll show you that again. You press V and you're allowed to use 6 seconds of this rapid fire mode and once it's over you press F and bam there's your finisher. There are certain skills that allow you to go into that rapid fire mode. One is your 4 ability, so when you charge up the 4 ability and once you finish it, you can go into rapid fire for 3 seconds and then you can, again you can finish it off with your F. Another one is your detect weakness, once you're in detect weakness and use the arrow, you again you can use that as well. And of course the wind archer also has alpha call, so again you press 1 to block and then you press Z to use your alpha call. Unfortunately, the Wind Archer does not have anything special whenever you block. It only changes your Z key into an Alpha Call and nothing else. That's it. So, no secret skills over here. So that covers all the skills for the Wind Archer. The Wind Archer is primarily used for PvP. Um, as you can see your 2 ability with the aerial and the aerial extension is mainly used so that you can knock up enemies, get them in the air and burst them down. Um, so not many people will be using the spec in PvE. However, the spec is easier to understand the concept in PvE since it's very straightforward. The mechanics aren't that complicated, aren't that difficult to pull off compared to the Light Archer. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully it helped. If it did, I really would appreciate a subscribe as it really does help out the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heals the boost so well?